I've had so many requests for these delicate, delicious, sweet, naughty treats, I couldn't resist. Let's make some red velvet whoopie pies on the One Pot Chef. <laughs> Let's start by making our batter. Into a mixing bowl, I've got 125 grams of butter at room temperature, so it's nice and soft and easy to beat together. To that, I'm adding in half a cup of caster sugar or super fine white sugar, half a cup of brown sugar, and about a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And using an electric mixer, we're just gonna beat these together until pale and creamy. Add in one egg and beat that in. Next I'm adding in one teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda or baking soda, a quarter of a cup of cocoa powder, and one teaspoon of red food dye. And just mix that together with a spoon. Look at that beautiful colour, that beautiful deep maroon, perfect. Next it's time to add in the flour and the buttermilk. I've got two and a quarter cups of plain flour. I'm just going to add a small amount of the flour in at first and stir that in. And I've got one and a third cups of buttermilk and the same again, I'm just gonna add a small amount of the buttermilk in and stir it in. Now, if you can't find buttermilk, you can just use regular milk and add in about a tablespoon of lemon juice or white vinegar, give it a good stir and then leave it aside for about five minutes and it will work just as well. And just continue to stir all the ingredients together, putting a little bit of each in at a time, stirring it in, add the next, until they're all combined. And here are two trays of whoopie pies ready to go into the oven. Preheated oven, 190 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes, doing one tray at a time, and just bake them until they're just firm. Allow the whoopies to cool on the oven tray for about five to 10 minutes before transferring them onto a wire rack to cool completely. Let's make the filling. In a mixing bowl, I've got 50 grams of butter, which is nice and soft and at room temperature. And I've also added in 125 grams of cream cheese. Using the electric mixer, we're just going to beat these together. I'm adding in one and a half cups of icing sugar. That's powdered sugar or confectioner's sugar, depending on where you live in the world. I'm just gonna mix that in together. Add in one teaspoon of vanilla extract and about half a tablespoon of milk and just beat everything together until smooth. I've matched the whoopies up as best I can to make them roughly the same size for each half. Now, obviously these are much larger than your average whoopies. You're more than welcome to make them smaller. I just like a big one. And we're just gonna take spoonfuls of the cream cheese mixture and just gently spread it over the bottom half of one and then simply place the top half on the top and just gently press down. And it's as simple as that. I mean, just how good do those look? And of course, if you want to make them smaller, go for your life, but I think they look absolutely gorgeous. Let's have a taste. Mmm. Oh, wow. <laughs> mm -mm. It's so great because it's like half cookie, half cake. You know, that beautiful rich chocolate flavour, but then you've got that cool, smooth vanilla mixture in the centre. So, so delicious. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this recipe. Check out my other videos at onepotchefshow.com. And until next time, see you later.